Okay, hello everyone. Guys, it's the first day. So we're just going to practice a little bit and kind of get you used to what happens. Okay? Um, okay, real quick, you guys. I thought I'd just ask you. You've heard of these companies, right? Facebook, Google, Yahoo, Microsoft. You've heard of them, Oracle. Guys, what do they all have in common? Well, they have a number of things in common. They're tech companies, and they're big companies. Okay? But, guys, they were all started by computer programmers. All right? Guys, this class is Algebra. Intermediate Algebra 2. I thought I'd just start real quick. We're just talking about Algebra, guys. What is it? You know, Algebra replaces numbers with symbols. All right, we call them variables. And we use them because sometimes the numbers are unknown. You know, plus we want to change the numbers around to kind of see what happens. We do what's called like what ifs. Like if you go into a business of some kind, you want to do what's called a feasibility study. You're trying to figure out if it's going to work or not. Does it make sense? You know, you might have, let's say, a lease, you know, that you're thinking about getting in a little strip mall or something and you want, you're not sure. Should you have a barber shop in there or a laundromat or a flower shop? Or So you, you do studies, all right, and we use variables so we can change them around to see what happens. Guys, in a lot of ways, algebra is a student's first introduction to computer programming because that's what programs are. We make formulas and put functions in there and the computers do the calculating for us, okay? There was a time where, you know, you could get paid to calculate, but not anymore. All right, nowadays, employers are looking for students who can formulate, who can set up problems and situations and let the computers do the calculating, okay? Now, I want to talk about value for a minute. And what is it that makes something valuable? <clears throat> well, we all know diamonds are valuable and gold is valuable. They're in high demand. You know, we use them for jewelry and they have lots of industrial uses. And they have a low supply. There's not a lot of gold all over the place or diamonds. You can't just walk down the street and find a bunch of diamonds. Another example of something that is in high demand is silicon. We use silicon to make computer chips. So it is in a very high demand right now. But guys, it's not that valuable because there's so much silicon in the world. It's all over the place. All right? It's one of the most, um, one of the elements that exists more than any other element in the earth. You find it in sand, right? Silicon. Um, math is like that. You guys, math is in high demand out there. All right, all these new STEM jobs and technology that's taking off. People who are good at math, companies want to hire them for a lot of reasons. And the supply is lower because people think math is hard. And people, a lot of people, right away, they don't like math. They've been told that they're not good at math and they don't like math. And they've been told that their whole life. So the supply of people who are good at math is less than it should be. All right? So if you go, if you get good at math, you guys can get a good job because you're valuable in the marketplace. Guys, as an example... It's just different types of engineers. I can move this over a little bit. Guys, there's lots of different types of engineers. I thought I'd just show it to you. You all can always pause the video or rewind it if you want, okay? Guys, anything that you're interested in, you can be an engineer in that field. And I always want to talk to you all about being an engineer. That's how I started when I first got out of school, and it was a good job, and it helped me out a lot. 
Like math has helped me a lot in my life. And that's the reason, kind of, you know, as I get old here, I thought I'd be a math teacher. Right at the end, kind of the last, you know, part of my working life. Okay? <clears throat> Y'all, these are some different STEM jobs out there with their salaries. Again, STEM stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, and Math. Okay, you might need that for the assessment. Just to show you guys, at least these jobs are all very good, making good money. Okay? Um, the first thing we're going to study here this trimester is about data and statistics. And I thought I'd just show you one thing, guys. Right now, data scientists are in very high demand because there's so much data out there that we're collecting with, from people on the Internet. All these social networking sites are collecting all this data about people's behavior on the Internet. You know, where their mouse moves and what they click on and how often they stay at certain pages and all that stuff. And there's tons of data. So data scientists are in very high demand right now. Okay? Guys, our principal, Mr. Sakela. He said this to me one time. He came into my class and said, you know, you all, math equals money. You're good at math, you go out and you get, you get the good jobs, all right? And we're going to talk about that the entire trimester. You guys, we're going to talk about math and the kind of jobs you can get and what math can do to help you, you know, build some wealth and become successful, okay? Guys, in the... The rest of the, this green folder, there was a page of notes, but I, I took it off. All right? So now there's just an assessment. It's shaped like a puzzle piece. Just based on what you just saw in this video, go to that puzzle piece assignment. It's, a, it's an assessment, and go ahead and take it, okay? All right, and when you're done with that, we're going to have another... Zoom meeting, too, to go through the vocabulary. We're just kind of going through procedures and practicing. And if you just do the assignments here today, you'll have an A in the grade book at the end of the day today. All right, so everybody do the assignments. You'll have an A. You'll start with the trimester with an A, okay? All right, that's it. Thanks.